more and more countries are requiring a vaccine mandate for domestic and international travel. Some EU countries are even requiring vaccine passports to enter public areas. The US may soon follow suit. A proposed bill in the US is requiring proof of vaccination or testing for domestic travel. In this video, we talked about the recently proposed US bill that may change how you travel in the US. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure, or already on one, and would like some assistance. The requirement to be vaccinated for air travel is gaining traction around the world as countries are gradually opening for travel again. Canada has said that it will make proof of vaccination mandatory for domestic flights, and the US may soon follow suit. As the United States continues to combat the increasing number of COVID-19 cases, a proposed legislation has been put forward that would require all airline and train passengers in the US to provide proof of vaccination or a recent negative COVID-19 test to travel. While the US government has extended the mask mandate until 2022, there is currently no testing or vaccination requirements for domestic air or train travel. However, this could change with the recently introduced legislation called the Safe Travel Act. It would require all passengers, employees, contractors, and subcontractors of Amtrak and commercial airlines to show that they have either been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 or tested negative for the virus within 72 hours of travel. Don Bayer, a United States representative who sits on the House Ways and Means Committee stated that, requiring airport and Amtrak travelers and employees to provide a proof of COVID vaccine or negative test is just common sense. Bayer added that, Americans want to return to normal that includes traveling for business or pleasure, and Congress can help make people comfortable traveling again by putting basic requirements in place that prevent the spread of COVID. Despite leading the way with vaccinations at the beginning of the year, the US is now falling to one of the lowest vaccination rates of G7 countries. The vaccination curve has leveled dramatically since an initial surge in the first half of this year. Domestic travel is no doubt having an impact on the number of COVID-19 cases in the country. The number of travelers almost reached 2019 levels over Labor Day weekend, despite the CDC asking unvaccinated travelers to stay home. The spread of the Delta variant in the US has upended progress the country has made towards suppressing the coronavirus, forcing many to reconsider travel plans. Government and private entities introduce vaccine mandates for employees including airlines. United and Hawaiian Airlines have instituted vaccine mandates, while Frontier and Delta require unvaccinated employees to submit to weekly testing, and Delta also requires they pay a $200 monthly insurance surcharge. A proposal to expand vaccination or testing requirements for all domestic travelers would likely be met with pushback from the airline industry, even though proof of a negative coronavirus test is already required for international travelers, regardless of vaccination status. 
What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, I am can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.